Today I'm going to show you how to make this homemade sling bow. Um, a sling bow is basically like a slingshot, but instead of shooting round metal balls, it shoots arrows. So let's get started with the build. To start off this slingshot, all I've done is drawn out my pattern, and then once you got your paper template, just draw it out onto a piece of 2x4. Before I cut it, all I'm going to do is drill some holes in corners like here, 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 and here. All you want to do is cut it and it should look something like that. Now just start sanding it. As you can see, I've also uh, filled in some spots that kind of chipped away when I was cutting it. And it, I've got it smooth and now. Now what I'm going to do is add some reinforcements to these forks because uh, I don't want to take the chance of it like snapping right here. I've got the top part of the slingshot shaped onto these thin pieces of plywood and I'm going to cut them out and then glue them to both sides. As you can see, I got them cut out, and uh, they're pretty rough right now, but what I'm going to do next is glue them on to the main slingshot, so just sort of like that. Alright, so now I got them all glued together, and I've also sanded them down quite a bit. As you can see, pretty smooth. And I've also shaped a bit of the front of the handle. And now what we're going to do is take the handle part and trace it out onto some harder wood. As you can see here, probably can't see it, but I've got it traced out along here. And now I'm just going to cut it out. Alright, so I got it cut out, and uh, as you can see, it's not perfect, but once we got it shaped, it doesn't really have to be, you know, perfect. It's just really optional anyway. But what I'm going to do next is sort of shape it to this design, I guess, and then I'm going to glue it so look something like that. So I've got it shaped the way I want it. Uh, it's pretty rough right now, but I'm going to file it smooth. And then I can attach it to the main thing. But before I glue them together, I'm going to give each part a stain and the reason why I'm doing this before I glue them is because I want to get that look of like using different woods. Now we can start uh, actually working on the sling of the slingshot. So first we've got to drill out these holes that are about half an inch from the top and use a 1 fourth inch drill bit. So I got them drilled out, as you can see, and uh, unfortunately 
Even though I used the other piece of wood to try to keep it from splitting on the other side, as you can see, it happened yeah, anyway. But uh, that shouldn't be too big of a deal, and it'll probably get covered anyway. So now I'll show you how to attach a string. So first thing you do is put the thing through the hole, and then tie a knot. And then once you've got that, you want to tie another knot on the other side that comes out about, let's just say, about half an inch from the other side. Now just do that for both sides. Alright, so for the sling, I've got this exercise band. It was about $8. And you cut two 8 inch sections. Alright, once you got them cut out, what you want to do is, uh, as you can see, it's hollow, and you're going to slide it into the nylon. I, I can't do it with one hand because I have to hold the camera with the other. And uh, you might have to use a screwdriver if you can't get it on by hand. Alright, so now it should look something like this. And uh, when you slide it on, make sure that it passes that knot by like half an inch or something like that. And uh, to secure it, we're going to be using a zip tie, or two of them actually. All you do is, uh, you know. Alright, so yeah, make sure it's below the knot, and you just want to do it really tight. Alright, so now on the other end, I sort of did the same thing. All this is is just a piece of paracord that has a knot on both ends. And then, just like on here, it's uh, secured in place with zip ties. Now technically, you can uh, shoot an arrow just like this, but it's going to be pretty hard to draw back. So to make it easier, what you want to do is first uh, make a loop out of paracord, just a simple uh, loop knot, and then having a face Having the slingshot face this direction, what you want to do is uh, put the loop underneath that section and then bring it inside. And it should look like that. So now when you are drawing the arrow, what you do is you put the, you put the knock of the arrow in that section. And then when you're pulling this part back and gripping it here, it'll actually uh, catch the arrow and it'll be easier to pull back all right so here it is all complete now it's got a draw weight of about 50 to 55 pounds and it's quite powerful so I can't even draw it back 100% but it just goes to show the amount of power you can get with something this small so now we're going to do some test shooting Alright, so before I end the video, I just wanted to say that if you decide to make your own sling bow, then make sure that you make this handle section as strong as you can, because the last thing you want is to be drawing it back and then having a chunk of wood break off and fly at your face. So just something to keep in mind when you're making this. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the build, because that's all I've got.